I want to talk about vectors, because they're really useful. Like, basically, if you know what a vector is, and you know how to visualize it, and you know how to, like, manipulate them, then it's a really useful tool for, like, basically, like, anything making your own gameplay, or doing physics, or whatever. It's just, vectors are really useful, so that's why I'm making this tutorial thingy. So yeah, I made this thing in the beta a while ago, and it's... If you know how to use vectors, then you know how to make this. So this, I'm gonna explain all the vector stuff, then go back to this and like show that as an example. Okay, so what actually is a vector? I keep saying that word. A vector is basically just a collection of a few different numbers. If you have if you have like a, a certain property that you want to that you can only express with multiple numbers like position you'd express with x y and z coordinates um, something's velocity you'd represent that with like a direction and a speed um, or again like x y z components of their speed um, color is split up into red green and blue um, like and so on. Stuff that is technically multiple values, but you kind of combine into a single, like, property. So, like, anything like that, you can basically store in a vector. Okay, so say we wanted to represent something's position in, like, 2D, with, like, an XY coordinate, and it was located, like, three units to the right and five units up. That would basically be a vector containing the first number is three, and the second number is 5, and that's basically, that's a vector. If you wanted to draw a vector, a common way of visualizing it is as an arrow that points sort of in the direction of the numbers it's holding. For example, if we take that vector I typed out earlier, the 3, 5, you might draw that as an arrow that goes 3 units to the right, and then 5 units up and you draw it as an arrow. Neat. Okay, so now we know what a vector is, but how do we... what does that have to do with dreams? Like, how do we use vectors in dreams? Well, first we have to understand what a fat wire is. So if you're familiar with logic at all, you know that you can hook up wires to things, and those wires carry, you know, like, specific values. 7.1 or 0 or negative 10, or like 123,000. Wires carry numbers. However, you may notice in some things that some wires look a bit different. Like they're multicolored and they're a little bit, uh, they're a little bit thicker and they, they're sort of twisted like this. This is a fat wire. Fat wires carry multiple values, much like vectors carry multiple values. But if you zoom into the fat wire, you can actually tell how many values it's carrying by the number of colors here. So like you can see there's green, blue, magenta, and red, because it carries four values. If we change it to eight and we zoom way in, you can see that there are eight colors now. If you go to two, it's a fat wire with only red and green. The number of wires on a fat wire tell you how many things the vector holds, but it doesn't tell you what that actually represents. So I'm actually using like this signal display gadget, which is something made by Fort. Fort's pretty cool. He he makes a lot of like cool uh he makes a lot of like really useful logic that you can pull in and use like local variable, one frame delay, um whole bunch of math that the calculator gadget can't do. I'm using this fancy gadget, and you can use it too, but another easy way of seeing what a fat wire contains is by using a splitter. When you hook something into a splitter, it'll automatically change its outputs, the number of outputs and how they're labeled, to break up a fat wire into multiple, you know, signals. If we take this fat wire and we, use it, we run it through a splitter, we get two, like, normal wires. You know, if we go and change this to 8, the splitter changes to 8. If we change it to 3, it changes to 3. Whatever. Okay, but what if you you know how to break apart vectors using a splitter, but what if you want to create a vector? What if you have a bunch of different numbers, and you're like, cool, 
I have all these different numbers, but instead of passing these three wires around everywhere, I want to combine it into a fat wire. Like, I want to put these into a vector, basically. You can do that using a combiner rather than a splitter. You take the combiner, you tell it what type of fat wire you want to combine all these into, and you hook up all the inputs. The output of this is a fat wire that contains all your values. Okay, so that's basically what vectors are, and how to create them, and how to split them up, and it may still be a little abstract right now, but the next video is going to show some, like, concrete examples of vectors in dreams, and how you can visualize them and that kind of stuff. So, see you then.